Okay, welcome back again to the You Just Bought the Dirt Cheapest Dirt Bike You Could Find on the Internet channel, and uh, it is I, your host, the guy who bought the Templar 250 from X-Pro. There it is in all its glory, out in the middle of no place, which is where I live. I uh, want to make this channel because I think I'm going to, or I want to make this video because I think I'm going to upgrade the score that I gave this dirt bike initially. I gave it a 71, 72. Maybe 73, I said solid C minus. And then later on, I um, I upgraded that to easily 74%. By the way, this is like high school letter grade rules. That's what I'm saying when I say these numbers. I'm saying if you get a 71, 72, 73 on your test, you got a C minus on that test. So that's what I, that's what I, I gave this thing. I said easily in the passing. It's not bad. It's far from good. Um, it's just... You know, I'm giving it a C minus. Later on, though, as it broke in, finally it doesn't vibrate anymore, and it's um, it's really coming into itself. I gave it a easily in that C, 75, 76, something. It's just a flat C as it started. Doesn't vibrate like a paint shaker anymore, um, and um, with very mild and simple upgrades that the camera, I think, is about to tune in on right there you can see the carburetor i upgraded that carburetor 75 dollar part you don't actually have to do that at all it was just fine uh without it and um i you know i upgraded the chain I, some other things easily take it into that um that just solid c you can see there's a newer chain it's a nice chain on there so i am making this video i'm gonna now grade this thing again high school rules you took a test in math i'm giving it a 80. That's a B minus the lowest B you can possibly get. It's either going to be a 79 or an 80, but I'm going to cap it at the B minus. It cannot go above, and I'm going to talk about why. Uh, and I also want to address some of the people who are asking some questions. So first of all, there is actually uh, someone else commented. There, you're right. There's many of these things are available in carbureted model. Bauer, you get it carbureted. Don't get it with ECU. Don't get it with a fuel injection. That's stupid. It's a dirt bike. You should be turning a wrench on this thing, and you should be able to make adjustments yourself. They're extremely fast, extremely easy to do, and they're super fun to do. So go ahead and experiment. But why does it get a B? One, I'll do it. First, I'll do the positive. It has turned out to be so much more durable than I thought it was. When I initially got it, I thought this thing would fall apart. I thought it'd be worth at least one summer, maybe a fall. It would sit in the shed for all winter. And then in the springtime, I figured uh, I'd sell it. That's what I thought. I thought I'd just, introduction, do I really want a dirt bike kind of thing? But it has proven to be extraordinarily durable. That's why I went out and I even registered the thing. You saw the license plate. You can register it. It drives the limit easily. It easily hits 65 miles per hour. It's a gearing issue why it doesn't go faster than 65. And it's turned to be proven to be very reliable, even though I set this thing down all the time. I crash it constantly. It doesn't care. It does just fine. It fell off the side of a mountain with me. Okay? It did just fine. But it cannot go past 80. And X-Pro, I think you need to hear this. It's not just the materials it's whoever's working on this thing let me give you an example i found a screw and it looked like this when i was having trouble nut and bolting it see this screw on the screen wow this is really shaky i'm so sorry you see this thing you see how it's stripped but in the middle you have about two or three threads before you get to this completely stripped part what that goes to is the on the on the left side uh, the grip, there's the brake lever. That's what I'm trying to say. There's that bolt is what the brake lever hinges on. I noticed the brake lever was kind of rattly. Oh, I thought I'd just tighten that up and I couldn't. In fact, I couldn't loosen it up. I couldn't do anything with it. I ended up going to Ace Hardware. I replaced a little screw. But do you see how those threads are like that? What has happened is when they put this on, whoever did it in the factory, they put the, they finger tightened it. That's how we know the threads in the beginning aren't bad. They finger tightened the finger tightened the nut onto the bolt, and then they used an impact wrench. That's what did this. And they didn't stop when they got to the limit of the nuts travel down the bolt. That would have just seated that nut at the edge of the bolt really well.
but whoever did this wasn't paying attention or didn't give a didn't give a darn and they just cranked and the old, you know impact wrenches people like or impact uh, drivers i mean people like to say gadugada cuz that's what they sound like he put it on there whoever was in the factory and just went and didn't care and it stripped and that is the experience that i've had with several bolts on this thing it is not just the components i've had problems with components maybe i should throw another picture up here um where the the materials that they use are cast iron and what they do is they just use more cast iron but in some instances they can't in fact i will put a picture up right here i'm going to put a picture what is the time what is this thing we're at like five minutes almost at six and what they do is there was this little c clamp thing on the other side of the throttle assembly on the handlebar and the right handlebar but you can't just make that super thick cast iron very easily and so they just made it regular but cast iron but because we're working with poor quality materials and tooling um what's happened is a uh, air bubble an air bubble got in to the um to the uh to the mold and it caused a weak spot and that broke when i got this thing it was like this it was broke x pro to their credit replaced that thing they first class sent me a brand new throttle assembly or that little that whole little c-clamp little thing plus the little spot it screws into because what had happened is same thing it was probably the same guy they had put the bolt in they finger tightened it in till it started till they were sure it had the threads and then they used that uh impact driver and went gadugga dugga 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 and screwed that thing on there and then it cracked the little c thing i'm about to show you on screen it completely cracked it uh to the point where it was basically broken when i got it i didn't notice it was like that for almost a full like for about two hours of being around this thing because you know i put it together i was so excited i went around the block but then i was you know kind of stressed because i put it together it was a big stressful day and uh but I, I did get it together and then so what i did is i uh, i went around the block and then i uh cracked a beer with my friends we kind of just looked at it for a while and then the day was pretty much over so we just drank beers and kind of went to bed and the next day that's when i found it was busted they replaced it right away but that's the kind of thing that i'm going to say because of its durability because of its reliability because it's so affordable and because it has so much value for what you're getting it has to get a b no matter how i think about it this thing is transportation that can go on the freeway and it's reliable it's not given me a single issue. The components on it that work, um, or that are, what should I say? The components on it that are, that are what matters, like that engine is covered in quality control markings, permanent marker and paint and stuff. It's got little lines and checks all over it, which is very uh, appeasing to me, or very, it makes me feel good, because it means somebody gave a dang. Same with the, um, the brakes, they have several of those. Uh, that's also great. Um, but every little nothing around the engine is like they didn't give a stink. Like just some random guy was just kind of stressed out and just going. So what what means is what that means is you're going to have to be replacing little nothing all about this. Um, that little bag. I'm gonna have to adjust that bag on the back. You're gonna have to be replacing and also interacting with this kind of stuff. And let me don't get me wrong. That bolt was 89 cents i had to end up using a spacer because it's a custom shaped bolt that spacer was actually 99 cents but i was like how come the aluminum spacer is more than the bolt whatever and then the nut on the other side of that was like uh, 11 cents something like that a little lock nut <clears throat> excuse me and so what i did i replaced it for under three dollars i fixed the issue it was a pain in the rear end to get that thing off of there but um this combination means that it has to get a B because it's under $2,000 to your door. Actually, no. Remember, we got the stuff out in the last video. It was 2000 With tax, with shipping and handling, it came to $2,094 to my front door. Okay? Everything considered. All things considered. Registration was $119 for two years. It was nothing. Okay? Now I have another vehicle. It's reliable transportation. Eight months of the year, my place isn't snowy. Somewhere around seven, maybe. Um... You know, that, that means I have reliable transportation that's getting about 49 miles per gallon that I can zip around in whenever I want. 
for $2,000, brand new. This thing will easily, and by the way, it's only getting better. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised with the, that's why I have to give it a B. It's only getting more and more smooth. Uh, I'm at four, some, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm at like four something, I'm like 480 miles. Not a lot, but I mean, I love tooling around in this thing. I mean, look, look at my area. So of course I use it a lot because, well, as you can see, <laughs> post down below if you can see what that tag says um, on both sides of it. But that's what I like to do, you know. I just ride my dirt bike into the middle of no place, drink a beer, just kind of chill out, put some music on, put some Oliver Anthony on or something like that, you know what I mean? Drink a beer and uh, pee in the woods and come home. That's that's a great evening for me. That's what I like doing. That's what this dirt bike lets me do, and it lets me do it phenomenally. I tear up some single track. I go I find a new you know, a, a new road in the middle of nowhere. And that's this thing's design. That's what it wants to do. It's not for the track. It's not for a race. You're not doing jumps on this thing. But if you want to just bomb some single tracks and just go, it's got you. Such a big, dumb four-stroke will not let you down. Um, never fails so far anyway. A single time has it even given me a single hiccup. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. With the exception of why I can't rate it 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, because not only are those little issues everywhere, but two, I don't know what I haven't discovered yet, which is another one. And right now, the repairs on this thing are, you know, dirt cheap. They're $4, right? I had to repair the little thing up there. Hold on, I'm at 467 in this video. I'm well over that, but um, I'm all over, well over that at the time of recording this video. But um, it, it it it's it's four dollars that I know I have to change. Okay, all things said and done, I've probably put in little nothings like this under twenty dollars into it. It's only been two months though, and the repairs that I'm making, I'm not choosing the cheapest quality thing at the Ace Hardware. I'm choosing uh, good quality screws and good good quality components and and that sort of thing. But um. What what should be what should be on your mind right now is just that you're gonna have to make these repairs and you don't know where the guy at the factory was goofing off that day. Okay, you really just don't. You don't know if uh, a screw on the disc we just showed those disc brakes is completely stripped out and you're just waiting to lose a screw. You have no idea. So what you have to do with this and the the manual recommends that you nut and bolts you manually tighten down every single bolt on this thing every single ride which is a hysterical proposition um so every single time you take your vehicle out it expects you to go through and make sure that <laughs> i don't know three hours worth of labor is done two hours worth of labor you have to find every single nut and bolt and tighten it down manually to spec don't just crank on this thing you'll strip the screws you know what i mean you have to do it to spec uh, that's hysterical to me. That's a funny thing. That's a way that they're saying we're not going to take responsibility. But so far, do you see that red line in that bolt? By the way, you see that red line? That's another one of them. That one just hasn't come off yet. That is a quality control marking on the bottom left there. Anyway, but um, I can't give it above 80. I just can't because I don't know what's going to go wrong on it next. I mean, it vibrated so badly that the gas tank came loose twice in the first 300 miles. That's in its break-in period. I really don't expect that to ever happen again because now it's nice and smooth when I ride it. But in the first 200 miles, it was a paint shaker. I was driving around a paint shaker, okay? It was just rattling and rolling like a snake's tail, okay? It was just moving. But um, it just has so much quality. I have to go to 80. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm torn right now because I'm like continually impressed with this dumb dirt bike, nice carbureted, middle of the road dirt bike, but I'm also just kind of irritated every time I get on here and I hear a rattle, I go, oh, you know what? I'm going to solve that rattle today. That'll be, that'll be this weekend's task. That'd be kind of fun. And then I get in there and it's, it's a, it's a quality control issue due to poor quality parts, um, or excuse me, to a quality control issue due to uh, the factory abusing things, or what I'm going to show, uh, and what was I just below five, uh, fifth minute, I think it was, I'm going to post some pictures up. They're going to cover the screen, but they're going to be about, um, that broken little C clamp thing in the throttle assembly X pro to their credit. 
immediately sent me stuff. I, they responded to the email in like 12 hours. Excuse the, uh, the edit there. Yeah, they responded to my email in about 12 hours um, and had the problem solved. But just the fact that there's been so many. I am continually upgrading my rating for this little dirt bike, but I can't go higher than 80. And I'll say for the for the money, that's still really good. To Expo's credit, there you are getting a quality product for $2,000. All said and done, I mean, come on. You can't beat this experience with a stick for under $2,000, the quality that you're getting. Anyway, go ahead. Please do subscribe, like, comment. Uh, tell me what you think my little uh, <laughs> keychain says on both sides of it. Um, swipe right. Uh, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Uh, you know, do all <laughs> do all the stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep making these videos because this thing just keeps on surprising me. And I also wanted you to have a resource if you're the person who's like, hey, should I get this dirt bike? I want to talk about it because right now the answer is absolutely yes, you should. And I was surprised and I thought I was making a poor choice, to tell you the truth. But I didn't. I didn't make a poor choice, and I'm going to start uh, upgrading this thing and talking about it, and I'm going to do, uh, I did one, uh, a speed test, a 0 to 60. I'm going to have to do another one because it was just kind of um, difficult to get any good numbers, but I will say it's well under 10 seconds. Um, in fact, it was under 8 seconds. So give me a uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, I love you. Take care. Okay, bye.